Come on in, y'all. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. What's up? What's good? What's popping? What's cracking? What's percolating? What's really good in the hood? It's your man Theo Butler, and welcome to another episode of. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. Man, y'all clap this thing. Clap that thing. Let me see. Let me know the rock hit the mention. I know that's everybody on here. So y'all keep clapping that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clap that thing. Yeah. Before we begin, like, share, subscribe. If you like, leave a comment. If you don't like, leave a constructive comment. I don't know how you're not gonna like this one though. This because actually this is a positive video. This is me saying, man, I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Yeah, this is this is my open ended open ended letter to the Rock With Me Nation. Yeah, man, I clap it on the Rock With Me Nation. Y'all clap with the name. So I'm gonna tell you, I, I you know, since then, one nation under and it's that song right there. That song right there, and just the, the 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 people that I've been able to meet that have come into my life this year, they come from all walks of life. Like that's always been my mindset. I went to this guy one time, and I wanted to get a T-shirt made, and it was a T-shirt. I wanted something that was going to bring us all together. It was, you know, when the last guy was in office. Um, the T-shirt was going to have the stripes, but the stars were going to be replaced with circles. And in those circles, you were going to have various religious symbols, various gender symbols, various uh, colors for different ethnic groups and everything like that. Uh, because America is a melting pot. Like, I... If you if you've been overseas, you know this is one of the most, if not the most, diverse country. Period. And it's our differences that make us stronger. It's not our weaknesses. It's contrary to popular belief. It's actually our differences that make us stronger as a country. So I want to get that shirt made. So that's always been my mindset. One nation under a groove, getting down, just for the funk of it. Can you imagine? I don't know. Maybe I should have been born doing. Uh, what, what, <laughs> what they call it back in the day? Woodstock? Maybe I should have. Maybe I'm a flower child. I don't know. But I'm doing this video today because I want to say, like, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. I really, really do. Like, when you, when you, when you go through life, it's nice to have people that rock with you through good times and bad times. And and as I told. Told somebody today who was calling to check up on me. What's up, Chris? <laughs> Friends. Friends aren't just there for you in the good times. They're there for you in the bad times. They're not just there for you through the bad times. They're bad. They're, they're there for you through the good times as well. And my life has been enjoying a great renaissance. And I like to thank the Rock With Me Nation. So you guys Y'all helping me on my journey. Y'all clap that thing on up. Y'all are helping me on my journey. And it's with that that I say this. Not everybody is going to support you in your journey, whether they are not on your level, on your level, above your level, not going to support you. And you got to have people that's going to rock with you while you're going through this. The people that, that were there for you, that were cool with you and everything like that, when you finally say to yourself, hey, man, I'm going to go chase my dreams, my goals, my aspirations and everything like that. The people who were there for you, as long as you were doing a nine to five, you have to let them go. You're going to have to let them go. And the reason why you're going to have to let them go is not because you think you're better than them. It's honestly because you're going to always look to them for acceptance. You're going to always look to them for approval. You will always be looking to them for constructive criticism. You will always be looking for them to say, hey, we see your growth. When you don't get it, it's going to bother you. Because you care about their opinion of you. There's nothing wrong with that. 
you should care about other people's opinions. I don't care how somebody feels about me. Yeah, you do. Because if you didn't care, you wouldn't be making that damn statement. <laughs> <laughs> Never understood. Yes, you do. Everybody care about what somebody think about them. But the thing about it, what I've learned in this journey, I'm an entertainer. I can't be around people who see no value in what I do, regardless of how I may feel about them. I got to be around some people who do see some value in what I do. People who, not yes men, but people who are going to encourage my growth and tell me how to get better. And the rock with me nation. Y'all been doing that since day one. So this video is really my way of saying thank you. I wouldn't be here without you. And I wouldn't be continuing without you. We're going to make it do what it do. We're going to make it do what it do. And when it's all said and done, I'd be able to say, I didn't get here by myself. I got here with the Rock Whitney Nation. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. Peace. Oh, before I forget, January 7th, I got to keep saying it because I feel like I don't public enough. Y'all going to forget. Listen, the Rock Whitney Nation, I know I got a whole bunch of dudes on here. Man, y'all better get y'all lady friends on here, man. Listen, I ain't saying, I'm just saying, listen, I don't care if you on here with your lady friend. January 7th, Mr. Smith. <laughs> January 7th, 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. Sensual Seductions with the OB. Yeah, we're going to set the mood right and everything like that. Hang with me from 10 to 11, and then at 11, go make it do what it do. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. Peace.